Okay, we've got the top three finishers in today's Superbike Race 2 and Superbike Race 3 uh, here at Circuit of the Americas. Um, our winner in Race 3, Cameron Bobier, Second place in Race 3, Josh Heron. Third place in Race 3, Sean Dylan Kelly. And we'll get started with Sean, and we'll also start with the fact that Sean actually won Race 2. Sean, I, I, I don't know if you've, I don't know how the days in your life rank, but I'm sure this one's pretty high. Yeah, no, this one's, uh, this one's definitely up there. It was unreal to get that first Superbike win. As you guys can imagine, been working really, really hard for it. Uh, from the beginning of the season, you know, just being, being, being close in a handful of races. And, you know, I crashed out of the lead in Road America. I had a couple more chances here and there and um, didn't, uh, didn't just come true. But, man, this, uh, this, race, this race too earlier today was absolutely incredible. Um, was was pretty cool to be battling with this, these guys and even cooler to be honest to be able to do that pass in the last corner for the win that was that was insane brought me a little flashback from uh super sport days with richie doing all those last lap scraps and yeah it was also a, a little bit of a of a fairy tale first win you know with that special livery that we did um 10 days ago with the with all the kids from the children's hospital um and uh yeah obviously it was a it was a dream you know to, to be able to make it happen but uh, dreaming and doing is, are, are two different things, and that was that was amazing. So, um, yeah, just feeling uh, feeling on top of the moon with uh, with what we did today. So, probably at the start of the season, a podium, finishing on the podium, would have been something that you would have been happy with. At what point in the season did you start to think that there was a possibility that you could win one or two of these races? Yeah, as soon as I podium, <laughs> that that first podium was insane. Um, just because, you know, I, there was so many question marks, so many doubts, especially after last year, everything that, that went on. And, you know, at one point a year ago, not really knowing exactly where I was going to land, what was going to happen. And uh, with the injury, just being kind of in a weird spot. Um, so signing with Top Row Racing Team, which is, you know, also a new project. Uh, obviously, the BMW Alpha Bike has proved to, to be up front with what Titlers has been doing, but it's still a new project. I'm still a rookie in Superbike, so there was a whole lot of question marks. And to be able to have gotten that podium at Barber uh, beginning of the season was was a, a first dream come true um, in this you know in the, in the highest class of the states. Um, but that's definitely when when the the next step was was already in sight. You know that win was 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 the next next objective, and we've been fighting ever since. We had a couple difficult moments, you know, a couple big crashes. Uh, obviously, lost any chance of anything good in the championship, but. Um, at the end of the day, the championship was never, never a thought, more just uh, trying to be up front, trying to win races. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Second place in race two is Josh Heron. He was third in, in uh, or second in race three, third in race two. Uh, 13th podium of the year. You go to Jersey with, to my, according to my calculations, with a 46-point lead. The first question I have to ask is like, why are you racing that hard? It looked like a Moto3 race, and I'm, it, it just it di almost didn't make sense. I just, uh, I was feeling extra motivated. We got the <laughs> DRE tomorrow. I, I, like, uh, I like going to those things with a win. It's not fun going when you don't win. Everybody's not as pumped. So, And uh, we had the Farachi stuff on. I wanted to get it for him. I'm, I'm bummed that we didn't get it with that on him. But it was, uh, was kind of like one of those days where it's so hot that if you don't just give it your all, then you're going to be a lot weaker than it in my mind, it's like, right? Like you could think, okay, I'm going to go out and just relax, but then you do worse because you just let the heat get to you where if you just put your head down and go for it, then it's just, it makes it a lot easier. And it was hot behind Cam's bikes. I didn't want to sit behind him the whole race. Um, but uh, yeah, I probably took one too many risks, but uh, it was, um, man, like I just talked to Hayes on the way in. He said, that's, those are the rides that make your crew happy to be, you know, working for you. So um I just, uh, yeah, wanted to go out and do good for them, do good for my family, and uh, I want to go hang it out, man. It was, I don't want to win by just riding around and cruising. I want to win by, you know, riding like Bobier or Hayes or Maladin did. Like, I don't want to just ride around. So, um, yeah, that was, that was a super difficult weekend. Um, I'm happy to come out of here. It's crazy how many points you can lose even when you're riding that good. Like, we lost, I think, 14 points or something. Um, I got really lucky in race two because I, I just I didn't think I was going to be able to battle for the win. And when I saw Sean go, and I know how motivated he is to win, I just wanted to leave a little bit of a gap 
or try to create a bigger gap to him and Bobier because I knew Bobier was going to be hard or uh, strong at the end. And I just was adding up during the race. You know, if I can make myself lose four points instead of five points, it puts me in a better position. I could then beat him in the third race and have one point on top because I know he's got more race wins than me, so I needed to beat him in the last one. So, yeah, just uh, probably way too much thinking going on this weekend. And that last race, I just didn't want to think. I just wanted to go. So um, hats off to the boys for, for making such a good bike. Congrats to Sean uh, on his win. It's, uh, it's not just cool seeing him win because he's uh, getting his first win, but we're only fans teammates. Yeah, he's been racing in my house since he was a little kid. And uh, so it's it's cool, man, battling, just getting beat by somebody that got raised at my house racing. So that's that's a cool feeling. So, um, yeah, hats off to them. Good job, Bobier. And, uh, yeah, get to hopefully wrap it up at our home race in Jersey. Just out of curiosity, at what part of this track do you do all your math? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy, right? Like, you you know, because you've ridden bikes, your dad race and stuff. But when you talk to fans, they don't realize how much thinking we do during the race. Like, that's the smallest amount of thinking. Like, you got to just imagine looking at the pit board every time you go by, right? It's it's nuts how much thinking we do. And uh, I don't know, know how the GP guys press all the buttons because I can't remember to push buttons <laughs> when I'm riding. But I do all right otherwise. <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Our winner in race three is Cameron Bobier. He was second in race two. It's his sixth win of the year, his 65th career win, and he is 85th across all classes, which puts him just three behind Josh Hayes for the all-time winningest AMA racer, road racer in history. So that's kind of cool. But more importantly, you somehow managed to keep this championship alive, and I, I refer to it as it, it looked like a Moto2 race from here. So is that kind of what it felt like? Yeah, I've, man, those those last couple laps, I just put everything I had into into uh, trying to open up just just enough of a gap to where I could open the keep keep the track open and um, get to the get to the line first. Um, man, Josh and I were stuffing each other left and right um, pretty much all day, and uh, it was a pretty fun race this afternoon. Honestly, I think, uh, man to go out and push as hard as you can this afternoon was going to be pretty tough. So I felt like the way we were racing each other, it kind of kept it light and kept us on our toes and not just drilling the pace lap after lap after lap. And I felt like that was, uh, man, that was honestly pretty fun. It was a, it was a good fight. And I was pretty surprised he was fighting me that hard with, uh, as much as he has to lose. Um, I definitely wouldn't have been doing that. Uh, didn't do that in the past, but, uh, you know, credit to him he was he was riding hard and um it was good um yeah man it was i haven't had a i haven't had a t tough day like that and i yeah in, in a long time it was that was a pretty hard day with those two races two superbike races on sunday and 100 plus heat out out of this track and i'd say this track is probably one of the most physical tracks we have on the on the schedule so um, happy with being able to just come back after my, my foot injury with some fitness and those last, you know, the last month break was, um, uh, was really, you know, it was really good for me just to try to get some fitness back. And, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're keeping it alive going in the, into Jersey, but, uh, I mean, to be honest with you, it's pretty, pretty much done, but I, I did everything I could for, uh, for the boys to, uh, yeah, just give us give us a, a fighting chance. Back to the earlier race and the and Sean's pass in the last corner. Did you expect that? Was there? A, do you regret not covering the inside more, or was it not possible to get back yeah, there? Yeah, so I was struggling a little bit in that long right hander compared to Josh and Sean this weekend, and um, I went pretty tight into the second to last corner because I thought he was going to pass me there because both of them strong in that long right-hander. And uh, then it, yeah, it just didn't give me the best run going into the last corner. And I remember I grabbed the brakes and I, it was, I just grabbed them a little too early and I was a little, a little too wide. And I was like, as soon as I grabbed the brakes, I was like, he's coming up the inside. And I tried to square it up and uh, yeah, just with the new asphalt right there, it was like a little dirty. I held it really tight. Um, and yeah, he just got me to the line, but you know, like Josh said, it's, I'm stoked for him, you know, especially, I know, I know what he went through the last couple of years in, in, uh, Moto2 and, and, uh, 
man, I know, I know how he feels, you know, it was 10 years ago, um, racing against Josh and f like finally beating Josh for the first time or finally, you know, beating Raj for the first time or like some of those guys that I've looked up to for a long time. Um, it's pretty cool. Not saying he looks up to us, but I'm just saying he, it's, uh, it's a good, you know, it's cool. It's, it's, uh, I'm happy for him. Cause I know, I know how that feels. Well, I think as I wrote earlier, it's like he won his first race and you can't win it any better than beating the two best guys on a day like today at a pace like today and how close the racing was. So yeah, congratulations on your first win. Congratulations to you guys for, for keeping this championship alive so we can go to Jersey and have some more fun. Do we have any questions? What do you guys think of the repaving work? Uh, I think, I mean, it's so smooth the way they repaved it. Um, it just gives you that, like, kind of vague feeling the new asphalt gives you at all the other tracks. But, uh, like, bump-wise, it's it's perfect. I got a couple for you guys. Uh, Sean, so with that livery, are you going to have that livery at New Jersey now since you got a win <laughs> with it? No, no, we're going to – the the plan was to do a fundraiser with that. We have a handful of body parts now with – with all that, and I think it makes it even better now that it was on the top of the box. So yeah, we're gonna do a fundraiser. Probably gonna be on the on the socials this coming week, and um, I think that's the best way to give back. You know, everything. Obviously, all the proceeds are gonna go back to to the children's hospital. So Great. yeah, I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, Josh, uh, so do you with the with the Farachi livery this weekend? I mean, I don't think that's probably what contributed to you going Moto2 today with your racing, but did you feel extra pressure to try to get things done this weekend with that livery and all that stuff for Araldo? Did you want to get it taken care of at this round, kind of? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it was, uh, that's all I could think about all weekend. You know, I was making myself sick, just trying to think, like, strategy. And today, you know, the last race was the best I felt because I just said, all right, like, I want to win today. Like, that's all. So I didn't, wasn't doing all kinds of crazy thinking, you know, leading up to that race. I just knew I wanted to go out and try to win a race. So um, hopefully they let us keep it for Jersey. That'd be sick. But let's see what Bobby <laughs> says. It's, uh, I, I like it. Farachi loves it. And, um, yeah, we'll see. And then just one for Cameron real quick. Cameron, so you addressed this a little bit with your fitness, but obviously you had some time off that you were rehabbing and you, you needed to get your fitness back. Do you feel like you're back to 100%? I mean, it looked like you did okay in, in those, obviously yesterday and today with your, you, you seem good. Um, are, you, are you where you think you should be or need to be? Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm where I need to be to get the results I need to, but to be honest with you, I don't feel like I'm like 100% on top of my my fitness game. But uh, I don't think you necessarily always have to be to, you know, get the results as long as you're, you know, in the ballpark. Uh, my heel's been doing a lot better. Like on the on the like on the actual bike, I just have no problems with it. Um, it's just I've been. Uh, I've been kind of favoring it a little bit and uh, I've been having some like problems with the outside of my foot, like the, the bones and some of the muscles just cause I've been, haven't been walking on it proper sometimes. But uh, I mean, other than that, like riding, it's, t it's totally fine. It's good. Paul, did you mention about where he's at in the, I didn't hear if, oh, uh, sorry. So yeah, you're one, it's funny. You're one behind Miguel and a three or behind Hayes. It's like, what you're saying about the legacy with these guys and with Sean coming up through. And did you think that you'd get to that point at this point in your career? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's, I, it's every, yeah. Every time you guys bring it up, it's, uh, it's kind of a shock to me, yeah. honestly. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to think about it and try to try to right. get some more. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks. Okay. We good. Okay, we've got our top three finishers from the uh, final race of the weekend here at Circuit of the Americas. Uh, our second mission, King of the Baggers race. Our winner today, Troy Herfoss, second place, Kyle Wyman, and third place, Rocco Landers. We'll get started with Rocco. Winner yesterday, third today. Pretty good weekend for you on the Baggers, and, and we didn't get a chance to talk to you yesterday because you had to run off and do that Twins race. So let's focus with you on, uh, on yesterday. Yeah, uh, I mean, yesterday was phenomenal. Uh, kind of took advantage of uh, a little bit of a, I guess, bunch up going into one and was able to run my own line through one and two and took uh, complete advantage and was able to put myself in the lead and 
from there, uh, I never, actually, I did look back. But, uh, I mean, that was, it went 100% to plan. Troy, uh, Troy's riding like a madman as always, not in a bad way at all. Absolutely crushing it. But, uh, what? <laughs> now, he uh, sent it up underneath me into the turn one and almost wasn't able to get him back, but somehow I was. And, uh, Freaking, it's insane to get my first bagger win. Uh, nice little consolation prize, I guess, for how the rest of the weekend went. But, uh, I mean, yeah, today today was good as well. Uh, didn't get quite as good of a first uh, first couple corners and just tried to settle in. My pace was very pretty much the same as yesterday, although these guys went a lot faster. And, uh, I mean, that's how it is sometimes. It's racing. It's, uh, it's nice to have, my I think, my sixth straight podium. And uh, I think we're fifth in the points now, which is, which is nice. So hopefully we'll be able to carry this momentum into Jersey. All right, thank you. Second place today, Kyle Wyman. We didn't have Kyle on the podium yesterday by a fraction of a second. It's your 12th podium of the year. Not your best weekend because I think it took you maybe until this afternoon to get something that you're comfortable with or close to being comfortable with. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah, I would say that it was kind of like the... It was kind of like the Brainerd weekend where I just was way off and then Sunday morning found something. But at Brainerd, I had that clutch issue in the race. I didn't really get to show the pace I had today. Uh, today, I, I certainly hoped I had the pace. And uh, yeah, I just kind of was able to, after yesterday's race, was able to just kind of clear my mind and go out there with uh, a lot more calm demeanor and, uh, you know, just focus on what I, what I need to execute on. And um yeah, Troy was just, uh, he was he was too good in the places he needed to be good in. I think I had some pace on him in a couple spots. And I uh, was really close to him on the second to last lap, but couldn't quite, uh, you know, make the move, decided to play it smart. So uh, two points. Um, going down to Jersey, it's, uh, I mean, truly, it's it's everything you uh, you dream about. You know, you, you think about, you know, what it would be like to be in a type of position for a large company manufacturer to go down to the final race with nothing between us virtually. And, um, yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, getting back to Jersey, love that place. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Is There's probably not a, ra a place you'd rather go for that, right, based on your history there and your knowledge? Yeah, I think so. I think that would be, uh, yeah. I mean, as far as a track that's suited me, I mean, it's been a, it's, it's, I haven't seen it other than with the new surface, you know, I think that'll be new to everybody when we get down there. But, um, I mean, that's where I got my first super bike podium, uh, won a lot of races in the XR 1200s and yeah, it's just, uh, it's a place that has good vibes and, uh, I know our bike's going to be fast there. All right, thank you. Our winner today, Troy Herfoss. It's his sixth win of the season. Uh, pulled back some points this weekend, and you go into New Jersey, as we just talked about, trailing by two points, which is basically nothing at this point, considering it's a difference of five points from first to second. And you guys have been first and second for most of the year. Talk a little bit about today's race. It seemed to be you got out front and just were able to control it. Yeah, that, that's that's right. Today was was a it was a really good day. Yesterday, yesterday I got caught out. I, I just didn't. I yeah, it was a tough race yesterday. Just um, having having young young Rocco again, who I, I just uh, I see a lot in him, and I know that I know that he's going to race to win at this stage of the year. So I I, uh, I sort of didn't didn't sort of open fire as much as I probably could have but in saying that like I just said to him he was just so in control that I sort of knew that if I was going to make a pass he was so dialed in he wasn't wasn't going to do much with like it wasn't going to get me far so um but today um we made a few adjustments and sort of predicted the way the track would go in that heat and I kept a good eye on the superbike races uh race one to two today and um uh yeah that's a, the, a long answer but the answer is yes I was extremely comfortable and um and I felt as though I was I was um yeah, like I said at the podium, a little bit of a, a smart-ass comment, but um, I have also been super respectful all the year. So because I was so comfortable, yeah, I, I don't go back on that. I felt like it was a puppet show, and I felt like I was in charge of it. And um, and I tried to I tried to get Cole to do something he didn't want to do, and like I knew, he was too smart to, to try. And um, 
it's uh, even and we go into the last round, uh, best man can win. And um, I understand full and well that it's a it's a track that he he's really good at, and um, and I and I've got a lot of respect for that, and and I can't wait to go there and see what I can do there. So there's no way you can get it. The series to end in Orrin Park. The the series what? Sorry. To end in Orrin Park. Orrin Park. Yeah, <laughs> that's how old I am. I actually rode around that one time. <laughs> All right, guys. Any questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you.